Welcome back. Warm conditions over the weekend. If you're here in South Central, you know what I'm talking about. It was toasty. High temps are up to 75 degrees on Saturday. We got up to 77 on Sunday. Uh, and this isn't the first time we saw temperatures this warm. Again, that happened last weekend as well. So we have now seen three days in the month of June at 75 degrees or above. And that's only happened six times on record that we've seen more days than that, uh, that warm in the month of June. So pretty rare. July, it happens more often, but not June. Now, we are up to 470 degree days this month, which that's actually the normal. That's the average. We do expect 470 degree days uh, in the month of June. But June 2024 is now about a half a degree above normal. So when you put it that way, it doesn't sound like very much, but it's about two degrees warmer than last year. That's when you take the high temperatures, the low temperatures for the entire period uh, and average them all together. But this is perhaps more significant. We have seen less than half the amount of rain that we saw at this point in last June. So you may remember last summer, a lot of people said, man, we didn't really get a summer. I think it was that rain that really made it feel that way. But we certainly didn't see uh, any 75 degree days either for the entire summer. So uh, we're already again off to a much warmer start than what we saw in 2023. We're also seeing very active lightning, much more than we saw last year. Uh, continues to fire up across the Alaska range, across the Talkeetna Mountains, the Cop River Basin, and these storms are also pushing here further south. Now, we've seen some active lightning right along the Glen Highway. If you're in Chickaloon, you're likely hearing that thunder uh, quite loud at this point. And those storms are going to continue to push west. So if you're in that area here of the uh, far western Matanuska Valley, uh, do be prepared for not only lightning, but these storms containing rain, some small hail is possible, along with some gusty winds. And then the storms we're seeing up in the Talkeetna Mountains there in the higher elevations, but uh, certainly if you're out near Hatcher Pass, you need to be uh, prepared for lightning in that area. We did have one uh, lightning strike out uh, in the Birchwood area. That came and went pretty quickly, uh, but we are still seeing some active storms down over the Kenai Mountains. Not quite as active as what we saw yesterday, uh, but still certainly a concern and especially a concern when it comes to the fire danger. It's been warm, it's been dry, and we're adding lightning to the equation, which is a dangerous equation. Now over 100 active fires burning in the state. 10 of those are currently staffed, including that fire that uh, was started in Willow over the weekend, uh, at least west of Willow there in the Susitna Valley. So needless to say, fire danger is high. It's really important that you stay safe in these conditions and, and use extra caution. Also that McDonald fire, as we mentioned earlier, is now up over 50,000 acres, uh, continuing to burn right along the Richardson Highway up along the Tanana River. Temperatures in the interior did make it back up 80 today 79 now in Fairbanks and we've had some of that heat even pushing west Bethel currently at 68 but we had 70s there earlier today cooler though down into southeast even some rain showers still pushing through Juneau you'll see clearing conditions there tomorrow but the rest of us really a status quo from what we saw the past couple of days temperatures will drop uh, another degree or two tomorrow a little bit of cloud cover in the area but at no major storm systems headed our direction so we'll continue to hold on to dry conditions and high fire danger through much of the week. In southeast, temperatures are warming a bit, uh, back up to 67 in Juneau, 68 in Skagway, a little bit cooler down south, cloud cover hanging on in Ketchikan tomorrow. Mostly sunny, though, across the Kenai Peninsula. Watch out for some breezy winds in Seward, but high temperatures back up into the mid-60s in Soldotna. We'll see low to mid-60s across Prince William Sound. Thunderstorms likely again across the Copper River Basin, also up north near Talkeetna. Otherwise, sunny throughout the Matsu with highs in the low 70s for you, upper 60s in Anchorage, 70 in Girdwood. And again, we're going to hold on to dry conditions this week. A little bit more cloud cover at the end of the week. Temperatures down to 66 Thursday, but then right back into those upper 60s over the weekend. So, Mike, bottom line, the heat is nice. Just kind of stay safe when it comes to the fire danger. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Melissa.